Yes, Mandarin is logical. It is not an easy language, but it is a clever and logical language. And I will show you four examples. Firstly, nouns are centered around one central element to form a relationship. To let you know that this group of words are all connected and related, I'm going to talk about new. In this case, new means cattle, a type of farm animal. When we need to know more details about、um, new, like、uh, whether it's male. Or female. We add one word in front of new. For male, we add gong gong new. For female, we add mu mu new. For little ones, we add xiao xiao new. The meat from cattle, we add rou. So roe means meat. New roe is meat from cattle. Oil or fat from new is called new yu. And we can see that、um, new is used in all five words to be the central element because those five words are all related to new. Instead of、um, having to remember all five different words, you remember a group of words、um, that、uh, are connected in a way, so it's much easier to remember. Secondly, word order. So English word order is quite similar to Chinese word order. That is a cat. 那是一只猫 Word to word, the translation is like. In English, when you turn that in, when you turn this sentence into a general question,、uh, is and that changes their places. But in Chinese, 那是一只猫 it stays the same. You just you just have to add 妈妈 is a question word. At the end of it, to form a question. Same rule applies to special questions. So in English, what is that? We can see that has changed its place in the sentence, and what comes to the front. So 那是什么 in Chinese we can see 那是 stay the same as a statement. You just have to replace 一只猫 with the question word 什么 So that's how it works with a Chinese word order between statement and questions. Chinese people are very efficient with numbers. You don't have to waste any energy. After you have learned all numbers, to talk about twelve months. You only need to learn one more word, "yue." "Yue" means month. So, if you talk about the first month of、um, the year, you add one in front of "yue." "Yi yue." Second month of the year, you add two in front of "yue." "Er yue." Third month, 三月 until you reach the twelfth month, 十二月 So you don't have to learn twelve different words for twelve months. You learn twelve numbers and plus 月 The last one is my favorite. All these. Questions: Is it? Do you? Will you? Is she? 
They all mean the same. They are used after a statement, asking for agreement. It is not a bad idea, is it? She is not really late, is she? But in English, you have to match two parts of a sentence exactly. The pronoun, the verb, or the be word. It is a headache for people who are learning English as a second language, especially for Chinese, because Chinese people just use one word for all that. 是吗 It is not a bad idea. 是吗 She is not really late. 是吗 Same word applies to all different conditions. For the negatives, isn't it? It is a good idea, isn't it? She's brilliant, isn't she? Okay, all for all these, Chinese do the same. 是不是 One phrase to replace all that headache. 是不是 She is brilliant. 是不是 It is a good idea. 是不是 So, in the end, I'll give you two more bonus points to see how Chinese people are logical and simple. Nouns have no singular or plural. Verbs don't change for tense or person. How good can it get?